Hey, it's Kyle, and I am here to talk about December. December is a month where a lot is coming up, but one of the things that's also coming up is our darkness. We've talked a lot in past months about this false you that's leaving, you know, whether it's a you that's codependent or avoidant or a people pleaser or a fixer or a rebel, we often create a false idea of us. And that's usually here to help you avoid trauma that exists in your body. Well, one of the things we talked about in the past months is these patterns are leaving. Well, when they do, you start to get more and more present in the now. And when they leave, often what gets exposed are the things that we perceive as darkness. There's just things in our body that we haven't looked at. And it's just because we haven't looked at them that we think of them as darkness. In other words, they're not actually dark things. They're just unseen things. And you've only been looking not through your true eyes, but through your character eyes. And the more and more as we do this work, we look through the true eyes of God, of the now, of the real you in this moment. And everything that hasn't been seen starts to come to light. When it does, it seems scary. Some things that people say often in this time are, I'm getting a lot of dark visions or I'm having a lot of dark dreams or all these different things. That's fine. The real you has capacity to see those things. And what you don't understand is seeing those things, really investigating them, looking at where they came from. Are they your parents' baggage? Are they you know, ideas of things that you've held that you haven't looked at and, and need to give compassion to? When these things show up, they just need to be heard, they need to be listened to, they need to be loved. And when they are, very often they dissolve. They dissolve through your tears, they dissolve into the now, they just leave, you end up releasing them. But the darkness is this bizarre hold that you have on them without looking at them. It's almost like you're literally keeping it here, but trying to push it away at the same time. And if you can open up your heart to the now and stop looking through the character that has been here to avoid these patterns, you will start to see that the darkness isn't that dark. And the ironic twist is when you hear them and you understand them and you have compassion for them, they end up leaving, but then the world starts to mirror that. In other words, people that do evil things on the planet, people that have narcissistic minds, they have different patterns in their bodies, they're often doing things to avoid their trauma, right? When you start to create a world where the trauma that you have is seen and the darkness is seen, you start to normalize a world where more can be seen. See, in the past, we didn't have the ability to see the way we see now. We were looking through very small lenses of a small separate self. And now we're looking through the lens of God, through the now, through this moment. And the now can see everything. And as you're put more and more and more into the now, you see things that you used to not be able to see. And when you see them, they start out scary, but inevitably they will be something that dissolves into love. It's your lack of understanding that causes them to stay there. It's your lack of listening that causes them to stay there. So understand that darkness isn't bad. It's just unseen. And December is a month where a lot of our darkness, which just means unseenness, is coming to light. And it's pushing it down and trying to move in a different way that creates darkness in the world, that creates things that are controlling and manipulative and an agenda. And we're here to do this work to hear what's in us, because those are the real patterns that you can hear. And the more you can hear here, the more you can hear other people from a higher level of love. And that causes them to either run away from you or see the patterns that are in their body and then find love for themselves, which causes them to stop doing the controlling different tricks that they're doing to just feel some sort of security as an avoidance of their own patterns. As we start to look through the now, we start to see a different planet right? Your triggers dissolving into nothingness will cause the dissolving of other triggers on this planet to dissolve into that same nothingness. So know that right now, an awful lot of darkness is coming up, but you have the capacity to hear it if you listen through this moment and not through the small you that's here to avoid these patterns. The real you in this now can hear anything. And that's why December is going to be big if you understand what's going on. It's not darkness, it's just unseenness, and you can see bigger now. And I dare you to have the courage to look through the eyes of the now versus the eyes of your past you.
This you in the now can see everything and it can heal everything. And more and more, you just allow little parts of you to be healed just a little bit more every day by you seeing through a bigger lens and you're gonna be shocked what happens. So be open to darkness is growth. Darkness is a new level of seeing. Darkness is a new level of healing. Don't run from it. Don't try to fix it. Don't try to push it away because it'll come up later. Just become present and know that that's part of what December is about. You and a new, all this is here for is for you to be the real you and move into a new level of presence. You and the new level of presence is you closer to what you truly are. That's why December is a gift. Your darkness is a gift. You can see it through a new lens. Congratulations. You are all that is. Start looking through that lens. Hey, it's Kyle, and I'm pretty congested right now. But that's not going to stop me from giving you the greatest deal I've ever offered on the Absolutely Everything Pass, ever. Usually our Absolutely Everything Pass is $79 a month, and you can get a year for $795. But right now, over the holidays, I'm giving you an offer of the Absolutely Everything Pass for one entire year for $299. That's literally the price of going to a therapist or one and a half therapists if they're not that good. That literally breaks down to about 30 to 40 cents per hour because there is now over a thousand hours combined from what we've done so far and what's coming next year on the Absolutely Everything Pass. There are 725 hours of past calls and next year we're going to be doing about 250 live calls plus all of our live events, every single thing we've ever done and everything we're doing, you can have now for $299. That's a quarter of a tank of gas. When you go to the website, you can click a link. It'll say it's $7.95. You type in the word water and it will suddenly become $2.99. And then you can spend next year watching this thing pay for itself over and over and over as you make higher and higher decisions, release things that don't align with you, move into a higher vibration of your own body, move into a higher health and watch as the world starts to mirror the things that you're doing. Join us on the Absolutely Everything Pass. Commit fully and you won't believe the results.